Hello everybody! Watch this video to see how to recover data from a virus-infected USB drive. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Every PC user has faced viruses at least once in a lifetime. Viruses and other malware can cause lots of trouble as they attack all kinds of electronic devices. Most often they infiltrate your computer from removable devices such as USB drives, external hard disks, etc. As they settle on your hard disk, they can spoil and corrupt important data such as videos, photos, and documents. Computer viruses are capable of erasing data from a USB drive, damaging it, or blocking the device. And as a result, you're going to lose important files. In today's video, we'll explore all known methods to help you recover files from a virus-infected drive. So, what shall we do if a piece of malware has deleted or blocked data on a USB drive? The basic algorithm is pretty simple, and it includes only two steps. 1. Remove the virus from the USB drive and the computer, and 2. Recover all deleted files with the help of a data recovery tool. So, how can a USB drive get infected? It can happen when a user connects their drive to a virus-infected computer. Another way for a virus to get through is when the virus code gets copied to a connected drive. It happens when a user visits infected websites and downloads files from such websites while a USB drive is still connected to their computer. An infected USB drive typically has the following symptoms. Disappearing files and folders. After a USB drive is connected to the computer, you see that files and folders are no longer displayed. This happens when viruses modify your file attributes, turning your files into hidden or system files. Folders getting replaced by shortcuts. In the root directory of your USB drive, original folders are now displayed as shortcuts. When you try opening such shortcut, you actually run a virus. Then it creates fake shortcuts and hides actual folders. Your drive won't open. As you double-click on the drive in the explorer, you see an error. Or the USB drive just refuses to open. It happens because a virus has modified autoplay settings or damaged the file system. In this case, you should disable the autoplay feature. You can do it in the system settings. In Windows, type gpedit.msc in the search field. Open the local group policy editor. Go to Computer Configuration, Administrator Templates, Windows Components. Autoplay policies, and enable the option Turn off autoplay. After that, run the diagnostics with the help of check this command. Open the command prompt as administrator and run this command. Here, specify the drive letter for the faulty disk. Your USB drive can become slowing down, the device works really slowly, or your computer freezes when opening the drive or handling its data. It happens because viruses consume system resources, and this slows down your USB drive too. So, can we recover data from a virus-infected USB drive? For starters, let's assess the chances for recovery to see if we could recover data from an infected USB drive. The probability of data recovery depends primarily on the type of virus and on how it interacts with information. Some viruses just hide data instead of deleting it. Also, there are many viruses which are exclusively designed to erase the data on USB drives, and in such cases you'll be able to bring it back only with a good recovery tool. 
Another virus type is the encrypting virus, which encrypts user files and then asks for a certain ransom to unlock the data. Often, viruses are designed to damage data. A virus implements malicious code into an ordinary file, so that it could spread to any other devices or computers where such file is copied. Most antivirus products can remove such viruses and repair the damage. The nastiest kind of viruses is the overwriting viruses, which replace the original file code with malicious code. These viruses can overwrite files with random data. In this case, there is little you can do to recover your data. Your only hope is your backups. First of all, we need to remove viruses from your USB drive. To do it, connect the drive to a computer and scan it with an integrated antivirus, Windows Defender or any similar tool. Click on Start, Settings, Privacy and Security, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, Protection Updates, and then check for updates. This is how you updated the antivirus database and now it's ready to scan the USB drive for viruses. Go back and find the tab Current Threats. Open Scan Options, check the box for Customize Scan and click Scan Now. After that, you'll be able to choose a specific folder or disk to scan and then click Select Folder. When the scan is over, Defender will display the results. If any viruses are detected, they will be placed into the quarantine and removed from the drive. If this method failed to remove viruses, run a local scan. As a result, the operating system will restart and disks will be scanned without booting Windows, which allows to clean even the most hardcore malware. After deleting viruses, it's time to recover any lost data. Hetman Partition Recovery is an effective tool to bring back the files you have lost after a virus attack. It is designed to recover information from various storage devices, including hard disks, external drives, and other media. This tool combines advanced algorithms to enable in-depth scan and efficient search for deleted files that guarantee their subsequent recovery. It helps you recover data after system errors, failures, and other issues related to file corruption. Besides, this tool also lets you read information from damaged storage devices and thus provides access to lost or blocked files. It is compatible with all popular file systems and can repair logical errors in hard disks to ensure safe recovery for any lost data. This software has a unique uh, feature of repairing data which was damaged, blocked or lost after malware activities. Thanks to using cutting edge algorithms, it can effectively restore files lost after virus attacks, including cases when data is erased or access to data is lost. It makes this software product an ultimate choice to protect and recover user data after any virus-related activities. Download, install and start this program. Select the disk to recover lost files from, right-click on it and choose Open. Now select the scan type – fast scan or full analysis. Run a fast scan first. It will take less time. As a result, the tool will scan the disk quickly and display all of its contents. If it failed to find the necessary files, then run full analysis. To do it, return to the main menu, right-click on the disk, analyze again, full analysis, Specify the file system for this disk and then click Next. Full analysis will take much longer, so you need to wait until it is over. When the scan is over, go to the folder where the deleted files used to be. Select them and click Recovery. Then choose where to save the items, the disk and folder, and hit Recover again. In the end, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. Also, a virus attack may result in serious damage to the file system structure, MBR components or MFT components of your USB devices. As a result, you won't be able to access their data via Windows Explorer. If the files are still on the disk, Hetman Partition Recovery will be able to restore the initial file structure and retrieve the lost data from such disk. 
For recovery operations, the utility switches all devices to read-only mode before starting a scan. This feature prevents the virus from controlling the disk and it increases greatly the chances to recover files from a virus-infected USB drive. This is how you'll be able to recover deleted or damaged files from a USB drive after various types of virus attacks. Also, you should remember that any operations involving an infected device can make the situation even worse, so it's recommended to create a disk image before you start the recovery, to ensure extra protection for your data. With Hetman Partition Recovery, you'll be able to create a disk image and then recover data from such image, even if all information has been deleted from such disk. To do it, select the required disk and click on Save Disk. Now click here to create a full image and choose where you want to save it. When the image is ready, you'll be able to upload it into the recovery tool and scan it. To do it, click on Mount Disk and give the path to the image file. After that, you'll see the disk image in the app window. Now you can scan it and recover the files you need. I've got one important note to make. When recovering files from an infected USB drive, there's a risk of some malware getting inside of your computer in the process. To reduce the risk of virus infestation, use an isolated environment to handle infected USB drives. Install a virtual machine, for example VirtualBox or VMware, and work with removable drives in such machine. Even if the virus tries to get activated, it won't be able to go anywhere beyond the virtual machine, which will protect your main operating system. As I said before, the shortcut virus is one of the most common types of malware, and it can hide all your files. However, as soon as the virus is removed, everything can be fixed easily with the command prompt. Open the command prompt as administrator, then type the following command. At the end of the line, specify the drive letter for the infected disk. The command will start by itself and remove all virus shortcuts and malicious files from the disk. If your antivirus utility fails to remove the thread, it's recommended to format the, the drive. Formatting a USB drive will erase all of the files it contains, including the virus. Since most recovery tools are capable of recovering files after a quick format, you can recover the required data using the previous method with Hetman Partition Recovery. However, some files may contain malicious code as a result of a virus attack. To format a drive, right-click on the Start menu – Disk Management. Then select the drive to be formatted, right-click on it, Format, Quick Format, specify the file system, OK. A full format will overwrite the drive with zeros. After such operation, you won't be able to recover any files, so be careful when you choose the format type. There are numerous precautions meant to protect your computer from viruses. A perfect solution would be to check the computer for, uh, or network for viruses before connecting your USB drive there. Also, it's recommended to scan your USB drives for viruses regularly with specialized antivirus tools. One more precaution concerns suspicious websites. Don't download suspicious files from the Internet. Another way to protect your USB drive is to make it read-only. When this option is enabled, no files will ever get to such drive without your permission. Before trying to transfer any files to the USB drive manually, make sure that these files are the ones you want to copy to your disk. In addition, we recommend to avoid transferring old files if you have any suspicions. Summing up, any user can get their USB drives infected without even knowing it, when they connect them to an unprotected network or computer. Keep to simple rules to avoid virus infestations. If something went wrong and a virus got through, the methods we have described in this video will help you recover files from an infected USB drive. Always remember to back up important data, as this will help you prevent loss of important files in situations like that. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!